Hi everyone, I'm Amanda and on this episode I'm going to show you how to use the drawing feature of Google Drive to create a timeline. So you can see I'm already logged into my Google Drive account. I'm going to come up top to create and choose a drawing. This will open up a blank canvas. The first thing I want to do is title my drawing. So I'm just going to click right up top here and call it Timeline of George Washington and then click on OK. The next thing I want to do is right click inside this checkerboard area and go to background and change the background color. Now I have some icons up here on my toolbar. I also have some menu pull downs so I can access things either from the icons or the menus. The first thing I'm going to do is insert some text so we know what our timeline is about. So I'm going to click on this T icon. I could also go to insert text box. And I'm just going to drag my text box out. And I'm going to type in the life of George Washington. Okay. And uh, this text, just by selecting it, I can change the font. So let's choose something a little different and we can change the size and we can change the alignment so let's center that okay so we have some text in here the next thing we need to do is draw out our timeline so I'm going to pull down uh, this line right here you see if I select this little arrow next to it I can draw an arrow a curve a polyline arc or scribble I'm going to choose line and I'm going to draw out a line in the middle of my page if I hold the shift key on my computer, it will draw a straight line for me. So you see no matter where I move this, my line stays straight. Once my line is drawn, I have some options for my line. So if I pull down this button right next to it, I can do change the weight of the line. So let's make this a little thicker by going to 8 point. I can also change the color of my line by pulling down this little pencil with the line underneath it. So let's make this um, a dark red. I'm going to add the rest of the lines for my timeline. So I'm going to draw out my first line right here and hold that shift key so it's nice and even. And then I'm going to change the weight of the line to 4. So I'll go ahead and add the rest of my lines. So I'm starting with when he was born, when he got married, his presidential term, when it started, and when it ended, and we'll finish off with when he died. So now that I have my lines in and they're um, nice and straight, I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to click on this text box here, and I'm going to draw my first text box right underneath this line. And we're going to say that he was born in February. 22nd, 19, 1732. And I'm just going to stretch that text box out. And I like the size of it here, so I'll leave it like that. And I'm going to change my text to be white. Okay, so the next one we're going to draw is for when he got married. So we're just going to stretch that text box out a little bit more so everything can fit. Same thing, I'm going to highlight my text and change it to white. Now we've got his presidential term. When did it start and when did it finish? So I'm going to draw a text box right in between these two lines. presidential term, sorry, select this and change it to white, and then we'll put the two dates on these two lines. So this was 4-30-17-89, same thing, we'll stretch it out so it fits. 
change it to white. And we'll put the text box in here. Okay, finished. Three, four, seventeen. So we have our last text box to put in, and this is when he died. So we'll come right up top here. 12, 14, 17, 99. We'll stretch this out. Okay, so we have our text in, we have our lines in. Last thing I want to do is just add a little picture. So I'm going to come up top to insert, image. I can upload if I have a picture already on my computer, or I can search um, Google for it. So we'll search for George Washington. And take this picture right here, select. It's going to bring it into our image and we're just going to shrink it down to fit the size that we need and I'm going to pull it right over here to the left. Now some other options that you may consider you have shapes and if I pull this down you can see all different shapes that you could insert. Each of these are changeable so I can make them different colors and different sizes and I've also got my images button here if I wanted to insert an image. If I come up to tools, I can do some research or define what I've already put into my project. I can arrange the order of different things. Since everything was all in a line and we created it, we don't need to um, vertically or horizontally align them, but you have these options. And I've got my formatting options here, just as I could have done with my text. So you have a lot of different options that you can use. Um, you can see it only took us a couple of minutes to create this timeline. We've inserted text, we've drawn our own lines, and we've even brought in a picture from Google. So that's it for today's lesson on creating a timeline using the Google Drive Images option. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment on the video. Thanks so much.